right, ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Wyatt, and uh, I apologize if I have a little bit of a lisp since it's late at night and I should be asleep right now. I have my retainer, because that's what I have to do at night, uh, keep my teeth nice and straight. Anyways, um, as you could probably guess by now, I'm going to be playing Kerbal Space Program today, and uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. We got a lot of mods on. Um, some new mods that I, uh, actually one of my friends is, uh, he's another person who's on the Holy Trinity podcast, uh, with me as the host and then the other, or the two co he's one of the co-hosts. Um, so yeah, we are going to be playing KSP today and let's see how, uh, let's see how it goes. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. So, uh, also, I apologize if you can hear my 3D printer. Uh, not really much I could do about that. I'm trying to get it to print something. So, you know, how 3D printers are. And while it's loading, I'm just kind of going to ramble on here. So, uh, yeah. If, uh, if you all have any mod recommendations, feel very free to comment, and I will consider adding them on. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not doing... Uh, Real solar system or realism overhaul or any of those things. So, um, I understand. It's probably also extra loud, the 3D printer, since I'm right next to it, because I'm staring right at it right now to make sure that it's doing its stuff right, and it appears to be. So, as you can see, we're in. So, shall we start? Let's do the old, good old fashioned, uh, if I could click anything, um, oh, I have to, like, it has that weird thing, doesn't it? And we're gonna do, I'm gonna risk it and do career, that is an interesting flag. I don't know what that's doing here, but, which flag should we do? No, we're not doing the confederate flag. Um... I think we pretty much have to do one of those two, don't we? Yeah, we'll be actually. <sighs> I like how clean the inside of uh, Chinese the the Chinese space station is. I, I like that. So we're gonna call this. Tread lightly. Uh, I don't know why. That just, the name kind of just came to me. Thought it sounded cool. So, oh uh, boy, where is Plasma Blackout and blah, blah. That's all I really want to mess with, because that's all I really know. And let's start, shall we? I apologize if I'm a little rusty. I don't typically do career mode. Um, however, I am clearly uh very willing to do it for a youtube channel um i don't even know what this youtube channel is going to be named yet i just kind of said you know what i kind of feel like uh doing this and so i decided to do it my 3d printer is not working so we're gonna actually make that a tomorrow problem i think okay Ooh, that was toasty so we're just gonna turn that off and ignore it. Okay. Why are the birds so loud? Oh, let's click. Okay. Uh, earn your stripes. What if we turn that up to ten? Well done. Okay. Year one, day one. Cut the space agency. Alright, year one, day one. To the chief of the Kerbal Space Agency, the team for, s for the Sprite 2 mission would like to recommend the agency to highly prioritize the exploration of the Sir Connie ex ex Exoplanetary System. Our team members have gone through every process or event that could explain the PRP 2611 signal, the only coherent answer being an artificial origin. One origins of. PRP 2611, an artificial source? Yes, Sprite 2 team. 
To help future missions, we also calculated the location for the smaller signal PRP2611B, assuming a tidally locked VASA at 15.58 latitude and minus 174.58 longitude to overall analysis of PRP2611BIS. We tend to him. Uh, we have these coordinates to the tracking station system. We know that the efforts by the Department of Interstellar Studies to communicate with the hypothetical animal species have yielded no results, but we believe this doesn't rule out an artificial origin. And in fact, it's to be expected. Best regards, Mayor Kerb, head of Sprite 2 mission team closed. So that's a little story. Um, actually, let's go here. I can show you um, where we will be going with that. So. There you go, you can actually probably hear the KSB audio now. Hopefully it's not too loud. If it is, um, well, I'm just going to toss that over there. Do, 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 do. So as you can see, first off, Kerbal is looking a little bright. Uh, very pretty, in my opinion. Oh, and I broke the game. Oh, yeah, that happens. Oh, there we go. Awfully bright, huh? And we got a couple, uh, got a couple of things here. Don't really quite know what this is. Some asteroid, I guess. Why can't I zoom out? There we go. Uh, Erlum. So that's outer planets. Great mod. And then we have some little extra planets there. What is Soden? Probably butchering a lot of these pronunciations. Pronunciations, oh wow. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. Oh, it's dark out here. Realistic. Um, is that where we're going? Where are we going here? I feel like it's that, but yeah, it is that, isn't it? So this is where we have that little, uh, that mission too. So, so this is tidally locked. That's interesting. The game will uh, will break occasionally. You know how it is. Oh, ooh, cool. It's a cool looking planet. Um, I might leave the mod list in the. I, I, I won't leave it in the description of this video since it's currently 11:30 p.m. and again I should be a bed and I should be in bed anyways and I'm not so we're going to we're just gonna do some stuff okay how about that uh, let me let start I'll start with some stuff uh, I was hoping we would maybe start with probes. But if we don't, that's fine. I'm gonna take a look. It's actually my first look at this uh, this focus tree. Also, sorry if I uh, if I sing a little bit. I'm listening to some music that I like. And this whole world tonight. <laughs> All right, let's let's go here and see what we're working with. <coughs> Slayer chains. All right, so we have to do. SP stuff to start. Oh, 
Sender 1. I need to get some contracts too, don't I? Yeah, probably, don't I? Um, uh, I guess with that mod, you just don't have Jebediah. That's honestly fine. Then I feel less bad when, uh, it, no, not, not, sorry, not when, uh, if they die. I feel less bad. Oh my god, my neck. I just did a big neck crack. I think I turned down that gain volume a little bit. I don't want to destroy your uh, your ears with that gain volume. Um, so we have that saved. Let's leave and go uh, pick up our contract, shall we? I don't know why I'm asking you. I'm going to do it anyways. So... I really don't know why this idea came into my head of, of filming this, but, uh... <laughs> Destination. Suborbital trajectory. That's fine. Please do not. Why don't we go to daytime and do our first launch in the daytime? I think that would be for the best of us. Okay. For the best. For the best of us. That doesn't make sense, does it? Yeah, it doesn't matter. So. Um. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if I was saying this or not. Again, I'm really tired. Uh, I didn't say that. Uh, so, I'm really tired. And uh, I, I did say how, how late it is. So, I can't even click the light button. Like, turn on the lights. I don't know why. Um, let's do this. Can you, like, just do that? Just uh, scoot down a little bit. I want to... Let's do this. Um, I don't really. Do I want to land in water? Ooh, look at that mountain. So, yeah, that's your uh, typical first launch. Whether you're doing a uh, career mode or just science mode, in sandbox it's obviously going to be different because you can do whatever you want. I kind of want to go more towards the water there. Do that whole parachute thing, shouldn't I? I was supposed to do that at a uh, apogee. Oh well, why do you get seven science from that? Oh my god. Come on, parachute, you got this. Jeez. Let's look at that. There's no flight status. At three, there we go. <laughs> 12.1 Gs. You having fun? Uh, Kerpon. Oh, there's wind, isn't there? That's kind of cool. That actually, that was actually pretty cool. Alright, we're down. So let's uh, scoop up that, that mystery goo in the water. Uh-oh. Okay. Alright, that was the first flight. Um, kind of just have to try to squeeze as much science out of that first flight as possible. If you, if you want to, you could use this as a tutorial. However, I wouldn't recommend it because, again, there's a lot of mods. That, like, uh, there's there's a, a significant amount of mods. That's cool. Oh, 
like medals and stuff. That's a cool mod. Whichever one that is. I'm not, how am I supposed to remember which is which? Now, do we want to do general rocketry? Not stability. Survivability, possibly. Ooh, survivability gives me... Ooh, ooh. I still don't have a probe core, do I? Maybe I do. Do I get one in flight control? No? How do I get one? That doesn't really count. I need solar panels too. When do I get that? Okay. I wish you could see how much that costs. I think we're going to go with that. And then we could always just do one of these. Let's do the Soyuz. I was always a fan of that anyways. If we launch stance. There we go. So we got this whole tech tree. Uh, advanced logistics. Whoa. Um, hmm. Why is that all the way out there? I don't, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. High energy nuclear power. Okay. Oh, the Corgi. I like that engine. That's a fun engine. I'm a fan of that engine. Uh, as you can see, we got a good bit of funds there. No, no, no. Uh, do that. Orbit curve max two. I actually might. Oh, that's too expensive. We shouldn't have to upgrade anything for a good hot second. By that I mean until like this next flight's over. <gasps> Ooh, we have decouplers. Is that the? Ooh, ooh, this this could actually be really good. Yeah, this could actually be. This could be good. So we're gonna see how high we can make it with this thing. That's um that's gonna be a very our big goal. We're just gonna send it, see how high we get. And we could actually even add another stage. That doesn't go first. With uh with a little bit of this on board. I know it looks stupid. Okay, but I just want you guys to, to trust it, okay? Who would trust this thing? Who on earth? Also, I'm sorry for my, like, loud, probably loud mouse and my, uh, my keyboard. Uh, I don't have enough money to get, like, something that's good and quiet. I kind of have to get one or other for now. You guys could definitely change that, though. You know, maybe I'll, like, uh, I don't know, start a Patreon or something. No. Well, maybe. It's actually not a terrible idea, is it? Problem is, I don't know if I could deliver, uh, special content for that. I'm sure I could scrap up something. Now, the question is, will it be, uh, extra content that people actually wants to watch? And that, my friends, will have a different answer. This life is a Okay, so we're gonna call this one. Ready? If I was actually typing, jeez. Sender 2. So we're gonna make sure that everything here is green. Oof. Ooh. Barely. But green is green, so let's get. Boom. Then we need you. No. Yeah, no. 
I don't know why I'm making new stages again. I'm like really tired. I'll try to make a better one tomorrow that I'll be significantly more awake for. Because I've suddenly been got, gotten into a Kerbal Space Program mood. So. Return one. Baikonur. Kerman Adel. KSC 2, landing zone 1. Tundra. That's cool. won't be controllable. Ugh. You're the one who has experience, right? Yep. Good. Let's go, shall we? So, um... I'm not sure how long this will go for. I'm not sure if we'll end it with this one, or with more likely, honestly, the one after. And again, we're just going to try to squeeze out as much science as possible. I pushed the wrong key there. So we're going to get the temperature. We're going to get that. Double check that this thing will actually fly. It will. Go. Fly, yes. Well, that'll have a different answer. Actually, we're starting to pick up speed, ain't we? Okay, here we go. Ooh. That is a much better thrust to weight ratio. This will get to space, but this will get high up. I mean, maybe if we're lucky, this will even get to around 30 kilometers. Whoa, that's not good. Oh, there we go. Seems working now. Let's get some of that science. Oh, yeah. And here comes the fun stage. We're just going to go, we can take our time with this, because we have a very high thrust to weight ratio with a very small amount of fuel. So, uh, we don't really have to do that, it's mainly to, we don't have to really do a pitch over since we're not, you know, definitely not going to orbit with this, I, I can tell you that for certain. However. I don't want to say anything, because I feel like it'll end up being wrong. I, I think maybe we can get to 50 kilometers, which is eh, it's better than nothing. I really want to try to squeeze as much fuel out of this as possible. It's 60. That's pretty good. Actually, it's going to make it. Just gonna send it. Look at that. There we go. First Kerbal in space. Let's go. Uh, clearly, drag hits me more than that. Polar walk. Not a winner space. Astronaut complex upgrade. Okay. I'm not going to do that, but okay. If I was in LA. Got a good bit of science up here, huh? Look at that. Oof. Let's see his feel. Shall we? Look back at the uh, KSC down there. It's actually not. Uh, Accurate KSC with our mods and stuff. Where's the sun? Kerball, I guess. Oh, there we go. There we 
Nice and bright, huh? Oh wait, we're going like straight down, aren't we? Log pressure. Reveal. Oh god, oh god, oh boy. As soon as I, uh, I was really hoping to get some re-entry stuff. Guess not. Yeah. Hmm. That sucks. Oh well. You know, guess we didn't need this anyways. We definitely didn't. That's definitely a more realistic amount of bl of a blader than what's in uh the stocking. Because the stock game has like 800 a blader, and you definitely. Oh my god, it is windy. Now it really seems like uh, we're the actual Chinese space program, because uh, where they land, I think they land what? Gobi Desert? It is. Whoo, it is windy. It's either the Gobi Desert, or I'm just gonna make myself sound really stupid, and it's not, because I, I'm not the greatest at geography, okay? I'm not the worst, there's definitely worse than me, but I'm... When it comes to, to uh, specifics like that, I'm not the... I'm not the greatest. I can get, like, general-ish areas. And I am... Um, I mean, I'm not gonna be like a... One of those stupid Americans that you find on a uh, TikTok. No, I'm a, in my opinion, uh, I believe I am a lot smarter than that. I can point out where a lot of uh, European countries are in the map. 99, that's a weird, weird number. First Kerbal in space. We can just buy whatever we want now. So... How much are you? 90. Oof, wow. Uh, those clouds are rolling. I kind of have to get this. That's the only th other thing I can afford. I can get this. I can also get that. There we go. Now we have all the launch pads except for uh, Saturn and the uh, space shuttle, but that's not. We don't even really ever need those. So, I think we're going to I think we're going to look at the parts we have. We're going to build the next rocket, and I'm come back tomorrow, and we're going to launch it, okay? So we have the probe node, Mr. Putnik. Uh, so what kind of solar panels do we have? We have, uh... We've got a... I think we got Science Junior. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. That's good. That's really good. I need to paint on that. But if you change it to the the white one, you're just insane. Look, really looks terrible. I get around, yeah, I get around, round, round, I get around. <sighs> Don't copyright strike me, Beach Boys, please. Oh, and we got the experiment storage unit. Oh, that's, that's great. I'm just gonna hide that in there as best I can. Oh, a little bit too hidden. on no come on no no come come on oh my god So since since this is struggling, 
and I'm struggling to uh, stay awake, I'm going to take that as a sign. That's where we're going to leave it off for tonight. I'll be back tomorrow. Will I do it every day? Maybe. Maybe for at least this week. Maybe not. I'm not sure yet. I really got a lot of them. I love how that's just like let you into the into that building and to this. That one's cool. Um, but anyways, it's besides the point. Um, oh, this is actually a really cool loft site. Oh, that's actually I'm a fan. Anyways, so this is where we're leaving off today. Oh, the uh, we're actually gonna pick up that. And we are going to... Whoa. We are going to... What's the other one we're going to do? Please relay satellite the mon... Mm, probably no. From orbital scan or carbon. From another mystery goo. Let's try to do the balloons. Mm -hmm. That sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, that's where we're leaving off today. Thank you all for watching. Um, I'll see you next time.